What is going on, everyone? people? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today, we're going to be talking about this new bait cast right here that I just picked up. This is the Lou Speed Spool LFS series. And I'll just be talking about why I picked this up and why I believe this might be the best bait caster for $100 right now. So, guys, let's jump into it. Guys, we were talking about the Luz Speedspool LFS, of course, by Luz, and why I got this bait caster. So let me start off with saying uh, this: it was $100 retail at Academy. It was a great looking bait caster. Everything else there was $150 plus, and I didn't feel like spent $150. So I did a little homework real quick, looked online, looked at the reviews, and everything about Luz said this was a great bait caster. Now I've had another Luz before, the Luz Custom Speed Spool. Love that bait caster. I've had it for a little bit over a year. Can't go wrong with Luz in my opinion. They are smooth. They are buttery. They are just amazing, amazing reels. But what really drew me into this bait caster right here is the Speed Spool LFS system. The new system they have installed is the Tin Bear p on bearing systems which makes it even more smoother than before it has a nine to one braking system which stops on the dime plus it has 15 pounds drag it has an aluminum alloy frame that keeps it super lightweight it only weighs 7.1 ounces it is a super light heavy duty bait caster you cannot go wrong with and plus you got these super wide uh, handles right here and these nice grips that fit your thumb almost perfectly now if you wanted to lose has a little upgrade handle system it has those like nice nice uh, foamy uh, rounder ones and those are nice as well, but in my experience, they fall apart pretty easy, especially if you get them wet and they get dried out and left in the sun or anything like that. And these handles right here, these super hard rubber ones, can y'all see them? Will it focus? Yeah, there they go. These super hard rubber ones will not fall apart and they'll last for years and years and years to come. Now, another reason I always go buy lose, well, I am now anyway, is they are just a great company. They are great, they're reliable. And if you take care of this reel and you keep it clean, you oil it, you grease it, and you do everything you need to do, this bait cast is gonna last you for years and years and years to come. And at only $100 in this reel, you're gonna be tripling the value of this reel because you're definitely gonna get your money's worth. Now, let's talk about a little bit more what this reel has to offer. I already mentioned everything that comes with it. Now, all these extra upgrades you're getting in the Loose Speedspool LFS, you would see these things in probably products at $150 to $200 max that is offering the same things that this actual bait caster is. So why spend more? when you can spend the hundred dollars and get the exact same thing by a company you can trust which of course is lose it is you just can't go wrong i mean look how sleek and black this thing is that is just very 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 nice gotta love it now let's get into the eternals and see what this thing looks like on the inside y'all so i'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer because we're about to uh we're about to dive deep into this thing and see what this thing looks like on the inside so i want y'all to be with me okay so all lose bait uh bait caster reels the way to open it is going to be this little pin right here i don't know if y'all can see it yeah there it is that little pin right there so all you do is you gotta pull that pin out and it kind of has like a spring attachment and you just twist hold on it's gotta be difficult always there it goes and it just twists off like that so now we're about to twi twist this off we're about to see these uh, LFS bearings that we're talking about here let me get that spool out okay so yes here we go there are the new and improved peon bearings there's 10 5 on top 5 on bottom the ones on bottom you can't see because they're in the back and also that new bearing in the center that they lose upgraded with which is really really nice they have it very well greased, very clean on the inside. I mean, you'd expect it to be clean for a brand new bait caster, but I'm just saying, sometimes, you know, it'd be like that. <laughs> now let's look at the spool itself, and they have that really, really nice chrome going on with it. Really nice chrome. On the other side, super slick, super smooth. Very nice. Very nice lose. That's why I say you always, you know, you need to go with lose. Great products. You just can't go wrong. Now, um, yeah, let's look at more on the inside. I mean, you really can't see much, but no, just, just for y'all, so you can see a little bit. That's the inside. It has like a little bit of a raised spot right here for that spool to sit on just a little bit better and be a little bit smoother, which I really like. Now, other bait cases that I have, it's just flat right here. They don't have that bump but I'm pretty sure that's something that helps with this bait caster being extra smooth that Luz did. 
because even with that spool out, it's just quiet. Super quiet. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm going to put it back together for y'all. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's why you go with lose, guys. Uh, as far as I know, everyone that I know and talk to who has lose is it's just a great product. So not only are you getting a bait caster that should probably be retailed at, you know, 150 instead of just 100, <laughs> you're also getting a name brand company that will back you up and have great, amazing customer service. So that's why you definitely want to go with this. So it's definitely worth the buy, guys. If you're out in the market looking for a new bait caster, this is definitely something to check out. The Lewis Feedsbull LFS. Can't go wrong. Best all around reel. So definitely check it out, guys. That is just my personal opinion. Like, I didn't try to do anything too fancy today. Just wanted to explain this and tell y'all why I got it and why I think it might be the best value for $100. Especially when it comes to bait casters nowadays because everyone's trying to make that bigger, better bait caster. But guys, I just think you just can't go wrong with lose. It is definitely worth a try. It will not be a waste of your money and you will be excited about every part of it. But that is all I have to say, guys. If you like these product review videos that I've started doing, please let me know in the comments. I'm starting to make a whole playlist for them. So definitely go check those out. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to Dark Relaxer channel, guys. I'm trying to hit 2,000 now. We finally hit that 1,000 mark. It's all uphill from here, guys. So we're going to do this. Love y'all. As always, y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one, guys. Peace.